Great. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, everyone. And welcome to uh, this convening of the Committee on Cultural Affairs, Libraries, and International Intergroup Relations. We have an important oversight hearing on capital construction at our public libraries. But before we do that, uh, seeing quorum, we have an important vote to take uh, on resolution number 792, a resolution establishing January 30th annually as Fred T. Korematsu Day. We held a hearing on this important issue uh, several weeks ago, and now we are prepared to vote. So with council members Cumbo, Rosenthal, Crowley, Ku and Constantinides all present, we are ready to call the roll on Reso 792. Thank you. This is the Committee on Cultural Affairs, Libraries, and International Intergroup Relations. Today is December 18th, 2017, a roll call vote on resolution number 792. We begin with Chair Van Bramer. I vote aye. Council Member Crowley. I vote aye. Council Member Ku. I will I and I also want to use this opportunity to thank our chair, Jimmy Van Beeman, for his dedication and his leadership on this committee. Uh, you have been, been wonderful for our cultural uh, community. Thank you very much. Thank you, Peter. Council Member Constantinidis. I vote aye. Council Member Cumbo. I too want to celebrate and congratulate Council Member Jimmy Van Bramer who has done a phenomenal job as chair of Culturals and Libraries, and it's been a pleasure and an honor working with you over these last four years, and I look forward to another great four years coming forward. So thank you so much, and I proudly vote aye. And Council Member Rosenthal. Uh, I vote aye, and just, uh, I would like to align myself with my colleagues' comments. Uh, Council Member Van Bramer, congratulations, and also congratulations to Councilmember Drum, you know, to have a, a Fred Kuramatsu Day of Civil Liberties and the Constitution, especially in this day and age, is exactly the right thing to do. He was a true leader, and he's finally getting the honor he deserved. Uh, this country's a mess, <laughs> and so I'm glad we're honoring him in this way. Thank you. Thank you very much, Councilmember Roosevelt. Councilmember King, we are voting on Resolution 792. Uh, naming January 30th as Fred T. Korematsu Day. Would you like to vote on this resolution? And I vote aye. Thank you very much, Councilmember King. And with that, uh, we will uh, we'll keep the roll open for 10 more minutes, uh, seeing as other members may want to come and vote while we uh, have our hearing, which we will now transition uh, to. We have uh, lots of uh, great folks here from the Department of Design and Construction uh, and others, and we are anxious to hear from them on library construction, uh, capital construction. Uh, needless to say, I'm enormously proud that in this committee, working with the administration, we have increased capital funding for our public libraries. Uh, hold on one second. So a technical matter, we technically have to close the hearing on the vote uh, and then reopen uh, the hearing on library capital construction, which I fear means that uh, other members may not be able to vote on this matter. Uh, so uh, with that, we are closing the hearing on uh, resolution 792, uh, which passed obviously, and we look forward to passing tomorrow at the stated meeting. And then we reconvene uh, our second hearing in the last 12 seconds on cultural affairs, libraries, and international intergroup relations. Uh, once again, uh, talking about oversight of library capital construction. As I was saying, we have increased uh, funding <laughs> okay, great, great. So that we may be consistent with NYC TV, we're going to pause 
and allow for the graphics department to uh, uh, get up the right uh, amount of graphics for our new hearing. So we're going to take a pause until we can actually formally reconvene the second portion of this hearing. <laughs>